What's going on fam? It's your boy Gels and I'm back with another video. In this video, we're gonna talk about exporting stems out of Studio One. Let's go. Like I said, fam, in this video, we're gonna talk about exporting stems out of Studio One. I know a lot of you guys are Studio One users like me, but you may not know how to export your stems the correct way out of Studio One. So enough of me talking, let's head over to the computer and get to work. All right, guys. So we have a completely mixed session right here. Uh, these are the files, exactly. This is how the session looks. Um, I had an artist request the actual mix stems. They actually asked for the mix session, but I don't give out my uh, complete mix session. Um, just something I don't like to do. I was, when I first started mixing, uh, the person I was under suggested I never give out my mix sessions. And it makes sense, man. You give out your mix session. If a person has the plugins, they could simply slide their vocals in and they'll have a completely mixed song. Well, close enough to being mixed. Um, so I just send out um, completely mixed stems uh, for them to have for their records. Uh, so like I said, man, this is the easiest way to send out uh, stems in case an artist or a label or something like that. Somebody needs the session and wants to keep the session for their records. So this is how you do it. Like I said, all my plugins are turned on. Everything is on exactly what I did. So all you have to do, all right? Go up to song, then export stems. It's gonna initially start off as channels. You don't wanna export the channels. You just wanna export the tracks cause the tracks are already going through your actual channels. So what I also like to do is create a folder on my desktop or wherever you're storing your, uh, your files. I like to just store it on my desktop so I have easy access to it and then I'll move it to an external hard drive or something like that after the fact. Um, I see one issue. So when the artist sent the files, they didn't name any of the files. I just pieced it together and kind of mixed it like that. Normally I'll put the uh, file names in here, but I was kind of in a rush and I, she needed this track pretty quickly. Um, I was in a rush, so I just went ahead and mixed it without naming the tracks. So what I recommend you do before you actually send this out to whoever you're sending it out to, make sure the tracks are named exactly um, what you want them to say, and that how how e make sure it's easy uh, for artists to get to or to understand. So like I said, all you're gonna hit is song. You're gonna export the stems. What I like to do is use real time processing. When you use real-time processing, I'm gonna be honest, it's going to take a long time depending on the size of the track, right? So make sure you go here, let me go back. Make sure you go to the location. That location, make sure you put it in the actual folder that you want it to go to. Make sure you change that location. Also, put the name, I will put the artist's name and put mix session stems or something like that. Make sure your resolution, sample rate and everything is correct. Wave format, you wanna send it in wave, of course. Um, between export range, between song start end marker, preserve mono tracks, use real time processing. You can also write tempo to the audio files if you would like. Um, I'll do it sometimes if the artist asks for it, but a lot of artists really don't care, um, honestly. So again, you realize exact, you figure out exactly what tracks you're sending over. So audio four, audio three, underscore zero eight, I won't be sending those over. So I export the stems. I'll uncheck the two that are not going and then just hit okay and watch it work. Like I said, this is the process, this is the countdown. This is exactly how long it'll take. 
It's simply that easy to export stems, man. Export your mixed stems. Yes, sir. It's easy, easy, easy to export your stems out of Studio One. Doesn't take a lot of work. It's not hard to do. But in this video, we discussed the correct way to do it. Is there another way that you do it? If so, let's talk about it in the comments below. Let me know, baby. All right, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Also, check out my website, mixedbygels.com, and I'll catch you on the next one. It's your boy, Gels, baby. I'm gone.